My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Nice hat, Jake. James, nice cat. You got a cat this weekend, tell the people. Didn't get a cat. No. Didn't get a cat. Ooh. Uh, but true. Any cats left in the NFL playoffs? The cat teams? Jaguars no, out. They're out. Panthers out. Never been in. Bengals out. No. No, they're in. Okay, Sheesh. one cat team left. Wow. We got cats. We got gold diggers. Way over yeah, we got cats and dogs, this whole thing. So who's the others? Uh, Niners, Eagles. Bird, man. Right. Cat. And then it's Bengals, Chiefs. Man. Man. Huh. So you're rooting for a man versus man Super I'm Bowl. I'm rooting for a man versus man Super Bowl. Or how about this? Bird versus bird versus cat. Cat. Happens that a lot. That happens all the time, too. Yeah. So we're rooting for that. It's a good bird versus cat matchup, too. Like each party sending like a good member of the birds. Like bird sending eagles is pretty good. They got talents. Right. And then the cat sending bangles, that's good like too. Like the seagulls won this year, it's stink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd be like, ah. Oh. The Orlando Doves expansion team. At the end of the episode, let's each come up with a new bird team. Okay. They were kind of already did. Pittsburgh Penguins. Got mine. Jim, you already mentioned a lot of the sports, actually. Uh, and we had some nice moments in the football this weekend. We had we had a watch party that was a lot of fun. 300 rabid Giants fans showed up. Uh, we had a ref tell everyone to shut up. And then we had a George Kittle iconic kind of catch. More eye poppy. Oh, you're doing it again. And look straight ahead. I think it's a, is he does he cross his eyes? No. Oh, you're it's just, just kind of my natural reaction when I stick you're my trying tongue to see out your like tongue. that. I yeah. can't do it. You can't do that without crossing your eyes. No. Stare, stare at the camera and do it. What the fuck? I got it that time. Oh, there it is. You look scary. Mine was too intense. The ref saying everybody shut up. Got everybody shut up. It's classic like gym teacher mode. Yeah. And I liked uh, who's on who was on the call. Trebek was just like okay, Trebek. Tariko? Who is Come it? Come on, man. <laughs> R.I.P. Who was it, Tariko? Do three different, do young, middle-aged, and then old Alex Trebek. And... That was the football. What a weekend. What was this breakdown you were telling me about before? Oh, this tennis player, the Australian Open's going on right now. Got What's his name again? Oh, Alexander Zurev. He got struck by bird poo. So he just starts feeling his hair, and he's like, what was that? Did a, did a, is it raining? And then it's bird poo. <laughs> That would be like if a four-year-old was telling the story. What happened? Just did a little kid impression. Bird, bird, bird. bird. <laughs> That's how little kids talk. Uh, he ran out of batteries. <laughs> and then he has to call timeout. He has to call timeout and go fix it. And the whole stadium is quiet. They're like, what? And then when the stadium realizes, you can play the audio, Zach, everyone just laughs at him. Yeah. He's kind of, I think he's relieved. They say this is good luck, which is just right. something you say to people when terrible things happen to them. And it wasn't. He, he fell apart. He lost. Which in a way, it's true. Like from that moment going forward, your luck should be better than a bird pooping on you. Which brings us right into the more sports. Jim, the more sports. And maybe you could go bet on this at DraftKings, the Bagel Fest. Because that would get them canceled and sued and you're done. Mm -hmm. They had their winter games rolled out this weekend. And what an event it was. You could tell by the videos. I mean, we don't have to put words to it. But I mean, uh, the bagel eating contest, bagel stacking, even bagel curling. I got excited for this. And I don't know yeah. who led to the disappointment, the article mm -hmm. or the actual event. Because the bagel eating the event. contest is just two men, a 10-year-old kid. The, all the contestants in the middle are sitting and not even caring. And then the two on the sides are standing. They definitely like raised hands before. It's a weird like, thing. Who wants to go? In, like Eight minutes, is it? Why would eight minutes ever be the allotted amount of time? Why wouldn't it be 10? From someone who used to be in the competitive eating world, they normally have different denominate. Like, I think hot dog is 12. I think, you know, depending what you're eating and what the human body can do. Well, they ate five bagels in eight minutes. I think we can beat that. I think the John Boy Media Office might have our own bagel feast and we beat that. We could also be being horribly rude. We could. Because I, I don't think I've ever tried to speed eat a bagel, but every time I have, I almost get like sore in the jaw. I'm like, wow, that's a lot of, it is a lot a of, lot of material. Yeah, but we could do that. They also had a bagel stacking competition. We're going to host the bagel feast uh, Winterfest. Bagel stacking now really just depends on what kind of bagel right. you order from. It also just looked like they're like, now the bagel stacking competition is about to begin. If we still need contestants, if anyone would like to join the bagel stacking competition, please head to the main table by the lobby. And five people showed up and we're like, all right. What was your name there? George. This Not Sports is eerily similar to this. This Not Sports is a crime that I've solved for the good people of Oaxaca. 
New Zealand. I don't know how you, how you say that. Why? Why? Uh, they're fed up. They're being tormented by mysterious sausages in their mailbox for almost mm -hmm. a year. The anonymous Surfdale Sausager places the sausage wrapped in bread and tomato sauce, as is common in New Zealand, in their mailboxes. They say about once a month. They thought it was a drunk person who misplaced mm -hmm. their dinner. They say here, it's tearing my friend group apart. It's tearing Wahaki apart. <laughs> Can't be how you pronounce that. Because we don't know who it is. Does he live by a school bus or a bus area? Because I'm going to guess that there's a kid in the neighborhood whose parents give him this as his snack out the door mm. on his way to school, and he doesn't like it, so he just walks, 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 hides it in a mailbox, and keeps going. Because that's what kids do when they don't want to eat food. They just ditch it. I unfortunately think you went too far in this glass onion. Uh, this is Jacob Pegwelder doing this to himself. Drunk? Not even. Oh. Just looking for a little attention. Oh! It's tearing my friend group apart. Yeah, he's playing it up. That is the, like, when I lived in Australia, that's how you would have, like, how we do hot dogs. That's how they do barbecue, like sausage on the barbecue and then just in a piece of white bread with ketchup. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then some fairy bread to round it off. Fairy bread is just white bread, butter, and sprinkles. <laughs> Australian delicacy. Sprinkles? White bread, butter, sprinkles. Like rainbow sprinkles. It's fun. It's fun. Cougars. Is that the end of the show? It sure isn't. There's one final segment we do every episode. Well, it's the end of the show. Employee of the week. Employee of the week. It's part of the show. Employee of the week. Employee of the week. It's the, it's the highlight of the show. Employee of the week for George. You're George? All of them. This was requested. Someone said, I nom someone, he got nominated. Should we start nominating people? People in the office can start nominating people to us. We have to receive it. But I did think it was worthwhile. We, it's uh, good. We transformed our stream lounge into a code names arena. Arena. And Mike was the ringmaster. It's Mike's second. Might be a second. So. The first one was him on the jet ski. Yeah. Good picture. That was a while ago. So Mike wins employee of the week. It did come out really cool. The videos will come out soon. We had Lawrence the band. Lo priori. I'm always scared I'm not going to be Italian enough when I say the last name. Yeah. That was a weekly dumb. Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by DraftKings. Four teams remain, but only two can play in the big game, the BG. DraftKings is an official sports betting partner of the NFL, and new customers can bet just $5 on either game and instantly receive an additional $200 in bonus bets. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code Dumb. New customers can bet $5 on any NFL playoff game and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code DUMB. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. Now, we all know your sister's been bird pooped on. But yes, have you been my bird young, pooped on? Probably. In the Bay Area, the, they swarm. So, like, you eat lunch outside, Granada High School, Livermore, California. Ad. And as soon as That's our ad the birds up. knew when lunch was ending, so they start swarming. So if you were running to your mm. class late, you'd put your binder, your backpack over your head and run to class. Everyone would because the birds would just poo. Same with um, A's and Giants games. Like in the eighth inning, they just start swarming because they know it's over. They're smart, these birds. West Coast birds. That's the new team? When Oakland goes to LA? Oh, the West Coast wow. birds? The Las Vegas Birds. Are there any teams that are every kind of the animal? Like just cats? Like Kentucky's the wild cats. That's, wild they get cats. a big group. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Once you think about it. No one's just a dog. Jaguar and Panther, I think same thing. I think they're the same thing. Same with the Bobcat. I think different places just call all those things the same thing. Jaguar might be different because it might be black, but Mountain Lion and Panther are the same thing. Panther's the same as something else. What should I Google? Three cats are the same? Yeah. I think mountain lion and panther are the same. Wasn't a good search for me, I'm going to be honest. Ooh, the ocelot doesn't get talked about a lot. A lot. Oh, mountain lion and cougar. Mountain lion, also known as the cougar, the puma, the panther. All the same thing. Mm. Mountain lion, cougar, panther, puma. How about that? Yeah, about that.